Hey YouTube, Kenny Collins here. Uh, I got my brother Rob Collins here with me, and uh, we uh, were watching some videos on YouTube from Dutch Sense and Prophetic Seer, and we found out that something went on out in space, and we went on NASA's website and took a look at the stills from the SOHO camera and found some very strange things. Um, so this was from 8.23.11 at 8.49, 8.50 at night. This, I believe, is Mercury. Some other people have identified that as Mercury. I have not. Somewhere in here is Comet Elenin, and this is a We're celestial body that has Comet not been identified uh, as of yet. And some very interesting things are about to happen there. Um, okay. Please bear with us as so we're we scroll. We're going to skip a few hours, and you'll see this object right here start to so change. the twenty third was what day? Uh, not sure. All right, whatever. <laughs> so this is eight twenty three. It was either Wednesday or Thursday. And Saturday we're going to scroll Thursday. down. Keep going. Let's do it. Twenty fourth was. Wednesday, I believe. So, you'll see this object right here is starting to change. And you see a light begin to come out of it to the left. There it is again. You see it becoming larger on the left-hand side. And we're going to just scroll up for the matter of saving time, we're going to scroll up several images. To keep this in the 15 minutes we've got. This now you can clearly see this object is, is continuing to get larger. And this is almost time. 1 a.m. on the 24th of August. So we're going to continue to scroll so we can move on to the really interesting things. Okay, now that object is clearly starting to uh, in this shot, morph. Definitely, you can see a spike coming off the side. Let's scroll. Can you scroll a little faster? Yep. I'm going to do this. There you go. Now you can begin to see more spike coming off of the left side of that object. And, and more. More and more. And, and a corona. The entire it, object is starting to get larger in a corona. A corona, it seems to be ejecting side. from the left oh, side. What appears to be a corona is ejecting right. from the left hand or side. Or some sort of a shock wave or something. Okay, so we're going to scroll up a f couple hours probably. And this is 9.30, and it's much more pronounced. Okay, so... Now we're going to go up to here. We could stop right here. This is at, at 2.50 in the afternoon on the 24th, and you're beginning to see a halo out to this side. Um, Comet Elenin approaching. And we'll just keep scrolling as that, uh, what, a, what looks as though it's a corona gets larger. You can see it here. Keep going. And to the next event that comes up. Now this is what time? We're at 5 a.m. on the 25th here. You can see a pretty good size. 25th would have been Thursday. Whatever that is there. And that continues to grow and be more pronounced. See, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see uh, it very scroll. well, but this halo behind it looks like it's becoming larger. And, and that date and time right. is 8.25 at 10.09. Now we're at 10 o'clock, just after 10 on the 25th, 10 a.m. And it's a very pronounced whatever, that ejection or circular oval ob object or cloud is out to the left. Again, just for the sake of time, we're going to scroll past. And as we're scrolling, that of images. continues to get larger and larger in an oval shape. And you can see it here. Okay. So. Then we have a very interesting anomaly coming up. And as that 
object conveniently begins to exit the uh, screen of the telescope that was filming it or the image that we're seeing on NASA. As that happens, as that image begins to go off the screen, it looks like it enlarges greatly. And now you're beginning to see an expansion of this object's whatever the, it is. Uh, it, it looks as though it's beginning to explode. This is at 129 on the 26th. 2 o'clock, 250, you can now see the explosion. Can see it looks it like, looks an, like explosion. an explosion. That's, it appears getting larger. Very much like an explosion. And the next few images are really gonna be interesting. All of a sudden, instantly within, you know, 40 minutes time, the object multiplies. 40 size. minutes later, after the last image right here, 1649 on the 26th. 1649, 1729. 1809 1849 1929 Now that image, the uh, ball over here on the right hand side of the screen is almost out of the screen at this point. This is 2009 on the 26th. 10 after 8 at night. 10 to 9 at night. Scroll up a few more, just to save some time. So where do we go? We're on the 27th. We're on the 27th. It's 1 a.m. I believe is this is the comet, comet right here. Ellen and right there. Approaching this corona, or whatever you want to call it. Scroll along. If you know what it is, let me know. Please feel free to let us know what these things are if you're a... Uh, Astronomer. Okay, now look at the size of the explosion or whatever you want to call it. It's my belief that this is a very large explosion that has gone mostly off screen. sudden it's because, getting brighter and larger because that, it's getting further away. Because it looks brighter and larger but it's further off screen so it has to be much brighter and larger. And hey it's back in the and screen here, now. It appears to be exploding again. Even though it's going in the other direction it's back on the screen. Oh hey it's bigger. back on the screen twice as big. Now we're gonna go back one frame so you can I'm guys show see you. This is time. at 730 and this one This was only 40 minutes earlier. See the difference in the size? It went from this size, scroll up. So, if you guys can see, if this is supposedly planet Mercury, this is a, uh, an explosion many times the size of Mercury. And look at that. This is at 7.30. And the next shot... Oh, hey, this is it doubled 8, in size 10, again. 8, 10, twice the size. Oh, this is let's 8, see it the size again. And next one? In 40 minutes. We're talking about an explosion many times the size of Mercury that's doubling in size. This is 9.30. Look at that at 9.30, and you can see Comet Elenin right and here. Comet. That was not so clearly visible. The, so whatever this is, magnetic wind, um, um, nuclear wind, magnetic field. These two objects are converging in space. And tell me that doesn't look like an explosion. Okay. This 10 is 10 o'clock on the 27th, 10 a.m. This is 10.50. This it, is Saturday when this, Hurricane Irene was coming up the East Coast when you conveniently could not see any of this. Obscuring the entire sky. 11.30 on the 27th. 
This is 12.10 on the 27th. And just to keep the perspective here, we have the halo. We have what uh, we believe to be Mercury. Not sure what this large glowing object that, that's multiplied in size is. And this, we Comet. believe, is Comet Elenin. And this is the sun's activity, whatever is causing that. I can't speculate. Okay. And that actually appears to be possibly the max or close to max of the explosion. At 1249. What, what I'm 20. calling an explosion, I should say. Uh, right there, it's probably max to what's that time? Uh, 1409 for this shot. Now watch this dissipate when it dies. Watch how the comet's getting brighter as it hits this corona or whatever it is. And then... Boom. Let's see, it's brighter. Brighter. Now it's starting to get and look, less it's bright. And less bright. 1650? As the explosion. That's, that's 10 or of whatever it is, starts five. to disappear. So that's here 10 we of 5 at night. This uh, event here, which is making this glowing object multiply in size, is quickly dissip dissipating. And as that happens, this comet Elenin hits this or comes into proximity of this ring and um, gets brighter and brighter and then not so bright. And here we have, ooh, wait, go back. That was, that shot was at 10 of, at 1649, that's 450 in the evening on the 27th. And the next one, is at where the 530 explosion. and the explosion has Completely quickly gone. dissipated in that time as explosions do you'll have a large fireball and then when it runs out of fuel it'll just psh, be gone like okay. that now it's gone so within an hour it's completely gone the item that was glowing and multiplying in size on the right hand side of the screen is completely gone now now, Within other, an hour. other images have shown that after this, the comet split into at least two parts. So it is our, at least my conjecture, that uh, what we are witnessing here is the uh, purposeful destruction of Comet Elenin, done most likely by us with a large nuclear device. So here's that circular area, here's the comet which is right now getting brighter and brighter very quickly. So, there and you have now it, Now it's getting folks. duller. The, it appears as though a large, at least one large nuclear device were, may have been exploded in space in an attempt to change the trajectory of Comet Elenin. Um, and it appears as though it was successful and sp at least split the comet into pieces. And once again, these are shots right from NASA. You can see here's Comet Elenin now, which is um, now gone past the, the ring created by whatever that was, explosion, we're assuming. Getting fainter. Uh, very interesting that this all happened uh, while we were under the cover of a gigantic... Uh, hurricane here in the northeastern seaboard of the United States. Um, we just wanted to share this with you. Um, again, we're not astronomers. Astronomers, We don't know exactly what these things are. All we can tell you is what we've found. And we can share it with you. And uh, if you've got more knowledge and you know uh, or you have something you can add to this discussion, please put it in the comments. Um, Thanks a lot. Uh, peace, everybody.